Hello everybody, Easy here. Olympus is a new project to run PS3 games through RPCS3 on Android in a Termux container. To break that down, RPCS3 is an emulator for PlayStation 3 games. Recently, its ARM port has seen improvements and developments. Android devices are ARM-based systems, meaning there are a few methods to run it on Android. In this video, we will be using a terminal program for Android known as Termux to run RPCS3 on phones, thanks to Olympus. Before we begin, I want to give a disclaimer and talk about the upsides and downsides. RPCS3 ARM is still in its early stages, as is Olympus. This means games may run poorly or may not even work at all. I anticipate this project will improve in the future, but at the moment expect lackluster performance. Unlike other projects that use multiple layers, this runs in one container and does not utilize RPCS3 x86. It's directly using the ARM port. Compatibility of this project is also a wider selection of titles than other emulators and other options for playing PS3 on Android. This is partially due to its nature of running in a container. At the time of my writing, it also only supports keyboard inputs, and it's suggested to use an external keyboard to gamepad mapper if you want to use a controller. I was using a USB-C dock with a basic USB keyboard. I found this to be useful for Termux as well. There are no on-screen controls yet, so if you are looking for touch controls, this project isn't for you yet. Like most PS3 emulators on Android right now, it uses a large amount of device resources. This means your phone may experience a lot of heat, so be prepared for an expensive hand warmer. The installation process may seem complicated, but it's actually very straightforward. Without any more explanations, let's begin. Special thanks to Gloibon on Reddit for making the guide that inspired this one. Check out his written guide linked below. Before we begin, you will need Termux, an Android terminal application, Termux 11, a Termux add-on, your PS3 firmware file, available for free from Sony's website, any PlayStation 3 titles you wish to run. I cannot tell you where to find games, but if you have them physically you can dump your own through a PS3 or a Blu-ray disc reader. Either an external keyboard, or an application to map gamepad inputs to key inputs. To install Termux, do not use the Google Play Store version. This one is very out of date and you will run into issues. Either grab Termux from F-Droid or from its GitHub repository. Both will be linked in the description. General practice on a new Termux install is to make sure your packages are all updated and upgraded. So we are going to begin by typing apt update and and apt upgrade. This will just update Termux's files to make the process run smoothly. If you are prompted if you want to update, press Y whenever possible. Our initial setup of Termux is now complete. We can now close out of Termux for the moment. Termux X11. To install Termux X11, we are going to go to its GitHub release page and grab the latest nightly release. Termux X11 is an add-on for Termux which will install like any normal APK. Just install it and allow access, and we're all set. We are now going to open Termux 11 for the first time. Once we open it, we can go and select Preferences. You can also do this from the Android launcher by long-holding Termux and selecting Preferences. We are now going to adjust the following settings. Set Display Mode to Exact. Set the resolution to 1280 by 720. I have found adjusting this may break scaling, depending on the device. Adjust set screen to fit screen orientation, set to on. Stretch to fit display, set to on. Full screen, set to on. Go back to keyboard and turn off show additional keyboard. Once this is completed, we can go back to Termux. Installing Olympus. Now that we have Termux X11 installed, we can run the following command in the terminal. I'll link it in a paste bin in the description as well. You can go ahead and copy it and paste it in the terminal. This entry will download the latest version, however if it's subject to change or updates, I will be sure to update it. Once you have that pasted in the terminal, hit enter. This is basically the extent of our inputs during installation. 
We will be prompted if we want to update packages, just type Y whenever it comes up. Once this is complete, you will see the following message saying it is installed. Using Olympus. Once you have seen the message saying completed, we are all set to run Olympus. To do this, all you have to do is type Olympus and the script will initialize. Here, you will see a few options, unfortunately not available in English yet. Before we begin, we must adjust certain settings first. Depending on what system you have, you will need to select different GPU drivers. If you are on an Adreno device, like Snapdragons, use Turnip drivers. If you are on a Moly device, use wrappers. If you are unsure, you can check your device SOC and GPU with Vulkan Hardware Capability Viewer. Once we have selected this, we can go back and select NCR to begin running the container. We are now going to minimize Termix while leaving the application running in the background. Now that we are on our Android launcher, we can open Termix 11. If you own a keyboard, this is one you would want to plug it in. Mouse input is also supported, but not required, as you can touch and drag the screen for a cursor. Once you see this pop-up, this is now like a normal RPCS3 setup. However, I will quickly go over how to do this. It's suggested to keep your games and firmware in the Downloads folder, or another easily accessible folder by the Termix File Explorer. Select I have read the Quick Start Guide, and unselect the Show on Startup box. To install firmware, select the File button in the top left and go down to Install Firmware. Once again, available in the link below. Then, select your PS3 update.pub. This will take a couple of minutes, about three minutes on my device, to compile PPU modules. In this video, I received a prompt that mine is out of date. However, it does not affect our situation. If you receive this prompt, you can always download the latest one. Once our firmware is finished installing, we can start to install games. For this video, we will be showing package format games. Simply select File, then select Install Packages slash Wraps. Navigate to your game's package file and install it. You will see a pop-up notification telling you when it's finished. This emulator does also support loose game files. However, that's an outdated format and I will not be going over it. Once this is complete, we can attempt to run it. If you would like to adjust any settings beforehand, I would recommend sticking to the keyboard controller settings and leaving other settings alone, unless specifically stated in places like the Olympus Discord or RPCS3 Wiki. Adjusting settings for GPU and CPU or using hacks may break the game and cause it to not boot. If you were to adjust any settings, I'd leave it to basic resolution settings. Once our settings are adjusted to our liking, we are all set to run the game by clicking it. You will notice a long load time on initial launch as packages initialize. This is normal and will be faster on subsequent launches. You will also notice lag and slowdowns even on high-end devices. This is due to the project being new and requiring further optimizations. However, you are now all set to begin testing your games. Please keep in mind that it's the early days and performance will be low However, feel free to test any title you'd like. I'll be doing more exploring with this later, but it's an impressive feat to run PS3 games on phones. Don't forget to check out the Olympus Discord in the description, and check out my channel for other Android tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and consider subscribing for more content like this. If someone you know might be interested in the video, be sure to share it with them. Start a discussion with others in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and enjoy your games!